That is not how politics works in the Middle East. It is a place where strength is, is really the only point of the realm. There is a theory that Hamas have done this spectacularly awful act of terrorism deliberately on a scale that would goad Israel into overreacting and spark a much, a much wider war. I mean, I think that there's probably truth to that. I think that, that Hamas, I think that's what Iran wants. I'm not sure that Hamas wanted that. I think Hamas uh, doesn't want to be wiped off the earth, which they probably will be and, and ought to be. Um, but I think that, that Iran's hope was that Israel would have to go in incredibly strong into the Gaza Strip, and this would provide internal pressure in Saudi Arabia to prevent them from forming an alliance brokered by the Americans with the Israelis. I think that was probably the geopolitical reason for that. With that said, that does not mean that Israel has any other choice. Again, if, if suddenly 1,500 terrorists flooded into Great Britain and proceeded to murder 15 to 20,000 people, because again, Israel's a tiny, tiny country, it has 9 million people. Uh, if, if those numbers were made proportionate, if, if tens of thousands of people were slaughtered in Britain by a group of terrorists, I, I doubt that there'd be a lot of British citizens who are sitting around worrying about proportionality or worrying about the geopolitical consequences of protecting their own citizenry. There is a, I mean, an interesting uh, contradiction, I would argue, that a lot of uh, conservatives in America, a lot of Republicans, have, including a number of presidential candidates, from Ron DeSantis to Trump uh, and others, um, they have signaled that they would want to severely curtail, if not stop altogether, support for Ukraine.